Hello, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you one of the most useful tools built into Malwarebytes, the VPN feature. If you are concerned about online privacy and want to stay safe while browsing the internet, then this is a very important feature. But first of all, what is a VPN and why should you care? A VPN or virtual private network creates a secure encrypted connection between your device and the internet. Think of it like a private tunnel that hides your online activity from hackers, advertisers, and even your internet provider. With a VPN, you can protect your personal data on public Wi-Fi networks, browse more anonymously, uh, you can access websites or content that might be restricted in your region, and even improve your streaming experience by choosing different virtual locations. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, right? Now, if you are using Malwarebytes, the VPN feature is already built into it. So if you have a premium plan, you already have access to VPN functionalities. So let me show you what it looks like. So right now I opened my Malwarebytes dashboard and here in the online privacy section, we can see the VPN displayed. So currently my uh, VPN connection is turned off. So the connection is labeled public in red. This means I am not protected right now. Below that, uh, there is a location uh, listed, in this case, Stockholm. That's the virtual location my internet connection will appear to be coming from once the VPN is turned on. We can click change to choose a different country or city, depending on what's available. For example, we can pick, I don't know, a server from United States, from one of these uh, states here. Let's change this. And now the location is Atlanta. There is also a note here saying that private IP not connected. That just confirms that the VPN isn't active yet. To turn it on, we can just click here. And now our connection is private. And we have a private IP address listed here and we are connected to this uh, US server. So once it's active, the connection will become private, encrypted, and routed through the selected location. Okay, let's click here and let's select settings. And let's go through the settings listed here. Let's see uh, what they do. So we have an auto connect section or setting group here. If we enable these, uh, Malwarebyte will automatically connect to the VPN as soon as we start the app. No need to manually turn it on each time. And this also very useful when uh, we are on a public uh, Wi-Fi network. Malwarebytes will detect that it's an untrusted network and automatically activate the VPN to protect us. So this is a, a useful thing to enable. Then we have the trust local devices. This um, lets devices on our network share data directly. When this is turned on, the local devices like printers, smart TV, etc., can still communicate with, uh, with our PC, even if the VPN is active. So if um, your printer suddenly stops working when the VPN is on, try uh, enabling this option if it's not enabled for you. Then we have connection rules. Here we can configure specific apps or websites to use or bypass the VPN. This is useful if a, a specific app like a banking software doesn't work well over VPN, or if you want only certain traffic to go through the VPN. So if we click here, then we can set up a rule when we require VPN or when uh, some applications can bypass VPN. Okay, um, kill switch. So when we enable this, this will instantly cut off the internet if the VPN connection drops. So this way we won't accidentally leak our IP address or any personal data. This is uh, recommended for privacy focused users, especially if you are dealing with sensitive work or live in a country with, uh, with, with very strict internet rules. 
The next one, alternate DNS. It changes how DNS lookups are handled by the VPN. If you don't know, DNS translates website names like google.com into IP addresses. And by default, your internet provider may still handle DNS even with the VPN. So if you configure alternate uh, DNS, you can avoid ISP level tracking and obviously you can improve uh, security and even speed. So if you want to co configure, just click the configure uh, button and here you can add uh, an IP um, address. Um, I think uh, 8.8.8. Okay, I think this is uh, Google's uh, DNS uh, server. Actually, this is not recommended to change these settings unless you, you really trust that um, IP address. And finally, we have the tunnel driver with two options, WireGuard NT and Malwarebytes MB Tun. The WireGuard NT, this is the default and uh, recommended uh, option. This is a modern high-speed VPN protocol and it's built into uh, Windows. It offers better performance, faster speed, and a strong encryption. It's good for both mobile and desktop use, especially if you, are, if you care about speed and reliability. And the second option, uh, and for example, if uh, WireGuard NT is selected and you want to configure connection rules, you won't be able to uh, add bypass options if this is the driver that, that, you, have, that you are using. Uh, right now. The other driver, this is Malware by its own custom VPN driver. It may offer better compatibility with certain networks or system configurations. It's useful if you are having problems with, uh, uh, with the WireGuard NT, like uh, connection drops or incompatibility with other uh, software, but you should only use this if there is a problem with the WireGuard NT. So basically this is all I wanted to show you about the Malwarebytes VPN functionality. This is really, really a great uh, feature. And, um, and with all the other antivirus and malware protection functionality, this is really a, a, a good choice if you want to have a, a good online privacy uh, software. If you have any question, just please leave a comment below the video. And if you liked it, just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.